Okay, so here we are in a time study, and we're just finishing up here. So we're making entries. And the last thing the guy's going to do is going to update the order sheet. So he stops it right there. And then he says, I'm done. So he touches the done in the bottom left-hand corner here, which, of course, takes him back out to the main menu. And he ends the session, this option right here. And that copies it back over into the original location and closes out here. Now, then what you do is you go back to the office. We have to connect up to the PC. So you drag down the banner at the top here. And you're going to do the uh, option here that says USB connected. So we're going to click on that there. And up comes the little Android figure. So we plugged in the cable now and it's connected to the PC. And we say connect the USB storage device down at the bottom here. Click on that, give it a few minutes, not a few minutes, a few seconds while it's, it thinks here. And when it's connected, it's going to turn orange. The little Android figure will turn orange. As soon as the connection is made, uh, you can see in the background here, we've actually got the folders on the device available. It's just like another drive. This is USB connection presents. It's another drive here. The data we're working with is inside the Timer Pro data folder. And if we just do a sort on this by time, you'll see that the device test DB3, that's the one that contains the data we just completed here at 239. So this is the one we're going to bring back into the uh, Timer Pro Excel sheet so that we can analyze the data. Okay, so all we do here is we bring up the Excel sheet, the device test here, and we say import from Android slash file. It says file because you can actually bring a file in from the Pocket PC here as well. But in this case, we're going to go for the Android. We click on it. Uh, we're going to look for the location. So it's the E drive. It's the Timer Pro data. And it's a device test. This is the one that we've been working on here. And you can see that again by the time to see that it matches up here. Right, device test. So we select that. And then we click on the open. Give it a couple of seconds. And all the data we've collected is poured in here. And you can see it's running down the page here. A whole bunch of data. And we can go to the main menu. We can generate reports. We can click on the device test, the raw data. And we select the report. And there's a report coming in here. So you can see it's very easy to pass the data up when you have the USB mass storage connection here. It's basically just an idea of connecting up your, the idea of connecting up your PDA and bringing it back into the template you're dealing with.